there's an important event going on here in Washington, D.C. from September 20th to the 24th. The Congressional Black Caucus Foundation is holding its 56th annual legislative conference. Now, what is the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation? I'm so glad you asked. Let me give you some background. In 1971, 13 members of the 92nd United States Congress established what we now know as the Congressional Black Caucus, or the CBC. These founding members saw a need for the nation's black voices to be heard and represented on Capitol Hill. Five years later, the caucus gave birth to the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. It's a nonprofit, nonpartisan, public policy research and educational institute. And the mission is to advance the global black community. A key part of this work is done through the CBCF's annual legislative conference, or ALC Week. This year's theme is securing our democracy, protecting our freedoms, and uplifting our culture. The conference includes a gathering of activists, leaders, and visionaries from around the country, all folks who are shaping the future of the black community on a global scale. This summer, I had the pleasure of speaking with the CBCF's president and CEO, Nicole Austin Hillary, and she shared this about this year's conference. She said, quote, if you want to be with decision makers from around the country who are trying to make a difference, you need to be with us at the ALC in September. Well, September is here, and I spoke with Austin Hillary ahead of this conference. She shared why the ALC is so important, especially as our democracy is under attack. Take a listen. We are under attack, Simone. Simply put, the black community has so many issues that are at the forefront right now, and they are critical to us. We are on the eve of a national vote uh, for president, so voting rights are under attack. We see legislatures all over the country changing the rules, changing laws. We are under attack when it comes to education, when it comes to what is being taught in our schools. So it is imperative that black legislators and the black community come together to talk about, number one, what are these issues, but number two, and most importantly, how do we create change and how do we empower our pers our people despite these challenges? So this is more than just, because, uh, you know, some people will say, oh, here they go again, getting together in Washington, D.C., you know, to, to party and have a meeting, but nothing is going to come of this. This is more than just a meeting. This is more than just a meeting. And, Simone, I say, and you probably heard me say this before, this is about the people. It is not about a party. Now, I will say this. You, you so eloquently shared our theme, uh, securing our democracy, protecting our freedoms, and uplifting our culture. We're going to hit every one of those. Okay. It is serious business to talk about the democracy issues that are under attack. It is serious to talk about the freedoms that we have to work to protect, but also uplifting our culture is about joy. It is about celebrating the history of the black community and all of our contributions. So yes, we will have joyful moments where we will celebrate and engage, but each day, the number one focus is going to be about what are the public policy solutions we should be talking about, what are constituents needing to share with the members. There is no other opportunity in the country for constituents to have this kind of front-facing, direct contact with their elected officials. People can walk the halls, they can be with their members, they can stop them and have conversations, and we make it accessible. We don't want it to be something that, because of money or location, that you can't access. It is open to everyone, and we want folks to walk away with tools that they can take back to their own communities because they are the voices of their communities. We are conduits for people, yeah, and we are for conduits the for the people. So uh, what special guests can we expect at the ALC this year? What are you most looking forward to, and maybe who? Yes. Well, our town hall discussion is what I like to call our plenary session. It is where we come together to really set the stage for the issues that are going to be discussed uh, this year. So our town hall discussion is on Thursday, the 21st. And this year, we have a special guest, Sean P. Diddy Combs. Is going oh, to be oh, with oh, us. It is, it, and you Pop know, Daddy. you and I know, it is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Yes. But we also know, and and folks, if you haven't seen them, please look at the documentaries that are out there on hip hop. Hip hop is about more than music. It is about culture. It is about policy. This community speaks for the next generation, and he will be there talking about black economic wealth. He will be talking about what our communities need to do to increase wealth and to increase opportunities. Because again, that's all a part of shoring up and strengthening our democracy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, the CBCF's annual legislative
conference is coming with the fire. Uh, I know you all usually also host a dinner, a gala on Saturday. We do. Any special guests we can expect for the gala? Will the president be there? Yeah, the president is expected to be there with us, uh, as, w as will the vice president be with us. Uh, and we know that we are also at that dinner honoring not only the CBC members, but also other individuals in the black community right. who have achieved high things. But we will also have with us, helping us to bring that joy, bring that joy, new edition. We'll okay. be with us to okay. bring on the joy well, I'm and already celebrate going to the, the culture. Dinner, but if I wasn't Nicole, I would, uh, I, would, I would be getting my ticket. My thanks to Congressional Black Caucus Foundation President and CEO Nicole Austin Hillary.